Overview The 2018 Ram 1500 can trace its roots to the 2009 model, when it was still badged as a Dodge. Despite Ram becoming its own brand along the way and this light duty pickup undergoing a thorough refresh for the 2013 model year, the 1500 no longer feels like the young buck it once was. Nevertheless, it remains the only full-size pickup to rely on standard coiled springs, or optional air springs, both front and rear. Almost all other pickups sold today use a less sophisticated leaf spring suspension for the rear axle. Like its competitors, the 2018 Ram 1500 is available in a plethora of trim levels, many of which can be mixed and matched with the truck's three cab configurations, two-door regular cab, four-door quad cab, and the more spacious four-door crew cab, and three bed lengths, 67.4, 76.3, and 98.3 inches. A trio of engines is available. The standard 3.6-liter V6 makes a healthy 305 horsepower and 269 pounds to foot of torque, and available 5.7-liter V8 makes a throaty 395 horsepower and 410 pounds to foot, and a frugal 3.0-liter V6 turbo diesel returns 240 horses and an impressive 420 pounds to foot all three engines pair with an 8-speed automatic transmission and either rear part-time 4, or full-time all-wheel drive. What's new, the Ram 1500 sees several changes for 2018, including a handful of new special editions. The limited tungsten edition brings additional luxuries to the already decked out Ram 1500 Limited, including a faux suede headliner and trim-specific leather and wood accents. Meanwhile, a new harvest edition targets the agriculture industry with a taller right height, a mesh grill, and other farm-focused attributes, including paint colors to match certain makes of tractors. A new grill on sport models foregoes the truck's classic crosser design and instead mimics the look of the grills found on the Ram 1500 Larry Me Longhorn, Limited, and Limited Tungsten Edition. Additionally, the new Ram 1500 Bighorn Black is choose chrome. The 8.4-inch infotainment system benefits from the latest Uconnect software, which brings features such as a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, improved graphics, and more. Finally, Ram adds a leather interior option to the off-road ready Rebel. What we like, despite its age, the Ram 1500 remains one of the best riding full-size pickups credit the standard coil spring and optional air spring suspension. We are particularly fond of the ladder setup, which makes the ride quality even cushier, especially when the bed is empty, without sacrificing cargo hauling ability. Likewise, we appreciate the available RAN box locking storage compartments built into the bed sides, but they do handicap the bed size and make it difficult to fit some accessories, like a cap or a tonneau cover. Finally. The Ram 1500's available 8.4-inch Uconnect touchscreen remains one of the best multimedia systems in the business. What we don't like, notably heavier than its rivals from Chevrolet and Ford, the Ram 1500 lacks those models' comparatively light dynamics. Its steering is numb and heavy and further exacerbates the Ram's heft. We'd also like to see Ram offer a true competitor to the Ford F-150 Raptor, as the Rebel lacks the hardware to go head-to-head -head with Ford's 450 horsepower off-road pickup. Verdict, the most comfortable full-size pickup, even if its age is beginning to show.